In this episode of Good Games for Bad Gamers, we're going to take a look at the Legends Flashback Console. So, stick around. Audio Jungle. and welcome to Good Games for Bad Gamers. This is the show where I take a look at some good games, but unfortunately, I'm the bad gamer tackling them. So if you're looking for a great comprehensive look at some of the best games from yesteryear, don't look here. This is just for nostalgia and just for the fun of it. I talk a lot about how it was growing up with these games and how life was around the time they came out. So, without further ado, in this episode, I'm going to review the Legends Flashback Machine. This was a console, if you will, that Santa brought me. Now, unfortunately, there is a newer version than the one that I have that is packed with the old classic Super Nintendo version of the Star Wars trilogy. If Santa would have knew that, he probably would have brought me that one. But the one that he brought me was on a clearance price, and you can't beat that. From what I've read, this is a Genesis emulation machine. So there are some perks that come with that that I'm looking into right now. And if I can get them to work, I'll follow up this review with an update on how that looks and how that plays. But anyway let's dive in and take a look at the selections of this game. There are 50 in total and let's just scroll through real quick and see what catches our eye and we'll go from there. So here we go. Now first things first, from previous episodes I had to set this up a little bit different because these come wired. And for the most part, this is just a Genesis type of controller. You got the six buttons, you got a D-pad, and that's about it. There's no shoulder buttons, there's nothing fancy, and it's wired just like an old school system. You got a start button in the middle, so you have all the basics. It's wired, so because it's wired, I have to sit a little bit different, just like I did back in the day. So I'm gonna turn a little bit to face the TV, so the cord can actually reach. Unfortunately, the cord is not that long. It's probably a six foot cord, but when everything's said and done, you're probably sitting four feet away from the TV. So let's take a look here. Okay, we got 1942, that's a classic Capcom title. Burger Time, Dig Dug, Galaga, Ghosts and Ghouls, or Ghouls and Ghosts, sorry which I've reviewed in the past on the Nintendo Switch uh, Retro Arcade. We got Mappy. Sounds familiar. We got Classic Mega Man, Rally X, Super Street Fighter, and Tetris. I'm sorry. I see on the menu here, these are under Featured Games. So let's go to All Games, shall we? A to Z, 10 per page, 5 pages. So we got 1942. Act Fancer, Cybernetic, Hyper, Weapon, Act Fancer. Okay, the scrolling through again. For some reason, I feel like this was a computer game that I really wanted back in the day. But we'll have to see. Astro Fantasia, Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninjas. That is the arcade version of it, I hope. Got Breakthrough. Burger Time, Burning Rubber, but these look more of like, that looks like an Atari era game. Champions World, Class, Soccer, Cluster Buster, Commando, let's go to the next page. Crude Buster, Darwin 4078, doesn't sound familiar at all. Dig Dug, Disco Number One, this one's scrolling by too fast. Edward 
Randy, the cliffhanger. Interesting. Uh, Express Raider, Fighting Ice Hockey, Forgotten Worlds, Galaga, Ghouls and Ghosts, Heavy Barrel, Hyperdyne Side Arms, Joe and Mac, Caveman Ninja, Joe and Mac Returns, Judge Dredd. That seems a little out of place. And if I'm remembering correctly, that's the Genesis game based on the movie. We'll have to see. Lock and Chase, Mappy, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Miku Hunter G, Fellows, Pirate Ship, Hengamaru, Pro Bowling, Pro Tennis, Rally X. See, that's straight up Atari game there. Rootin' Tootin', Scrum Try, Secret Agent slash Sly Spy, hmm. Shootout, Side Pocket, Sky Kid, Strider, very cool, Super Burger Time, Super Doubles Tennis, Super Pool 3, Super Real Darwin, Super Street Fighter, Terran Nian, Tetris, and Tournament Pro Golf. So, those are all the games that we have on there. And you can see, you can favorite your favorites. To break them down into arcade games, console games. You got your settings. And these do run in old school um, ratio. So, this is the background you get behind the game. So, I went with this cool... 80s background that reminds me of some of the intros on my channel. So you have some SD card stuff. And I accidentally hit the 1942 as a favorite. So let's take that off of my favorites. So what should we start with? Let's start with a classic like Dig Dug. So you got your your uh, right up here, your uh, controls, and only the C button for pump. And let's play a game. Hit A. Here we go, all the Bandai info. Okay, we got Dig Dug. So let's hit start. No. Now it's cool that we're going through the intro here, but how do I start the game? There we go. One credit in. We'll just try this for a few moments. I used to be fascinated with this game when it was in the arcade. Or not even the arcade. It would be at grocery stores or um, like at the front of an or hills or something. This is definitely one of those game changer video games when it came out. Where are you guys going? I have to say, very cool to play this, very nostalgic. So let us see how you get back to the menu. So we can try another game. Whoa. Oh. So far the controls were pretty good. I just don't know how to return to the um, 
menu screen. Now there is a menu button on the console, which is like your old school restart. So let me hit that. So there we go. Well, look at that. We have insert coin. That's kind of old school. You can save it, resume. You can even put scan lines on it. So right now we're going to quit. Go back to menu. Galaga, we've already played that. Let's check out Mega Man, shall we? And from what I understand, this has rewind functionality, which is a hot button topic right now on Twitter. Oh, you hit start and a directional button. So let's hit start here to start the game. We'll start with Cutman. He was always my favorite. I like him. So, start. So far, so good. Jerk. And as you can see why I am the bad gamer. But I haven't played this in probably 20 years. Do you remember it was one of the first games I remember where it had a health bar, it just wasn't a one or two hits and you died. And the directions here. Let's fill up our energy. Oh god, I love the off the screen reset. Okay, jump on the ladder, dude. This game blew my mind as a kid. Never owned it, just rented it. What a wonderful thing back in the day to rent games. I guess now you can kind of do that if you get a membership service with certain consoles. Like I know Xbox, this sounds pretty cool. I hardly ever say that about Xbox. So I'm a PlayStation, well, probably a reformed PlayStation now, now uh, Nintendo. 100% Nintendo. That's just what games I have fun playing nowadays. Like I got Red Dead Redemption 2 last Christmas, and I've probably only played it for an hour. And that's a pretty huge game. But I just don't have the time to play games like that anymore. I have a very limited amount of time, so the Nintendo games are more casual if you want them to be. And the ones that aren't, like Zelda and stuff, I mean, just engrossed me. Oh man, I'm not doing too good here, folks. But that's okay, we're not here to uh, beat it, we're just here to talk about what games are on this system and how they work. Wow. I mean, this looks like how I remember it. Lame, lame, lame. But anyway, we're here to try stuff. So let's see if I can back out of this. There's the rewind thing. There we go. So quick game. The response on this isn't too bad. 
I mean, it's probably as good as the old school controllers back in the day. Let's try some Street Fighter real quick. Rewind function is incompatible with this game. Now, this is a game Rewind would be awesome in. Let's set our coin to blue. So, we'll go with my favorite here, Blanca. Now, I have not seen the game look like this in decades. Because there's been so many HD versions of it in recent years that I've played that I don't think I re I've played it like this in a long time. But it looks like how I remember it on the Genesis or the Super Nintendo, or heck, even the arcade when it first came out. Very cool, very nostalgic. And for the 20 bucks that I think Santa paid for it, that's worth the price of admission right there to feel nostalgic for 20 bucks with 50 games. So, so far I'm liking it. The cord, that's the only downfall, but when you get a cheap system like this, the remote control functionality of the wireless isn't always that great either. So maybe wired is the best way to go. It's very small. It is hand sized, not fist sized, but you can hold it in one hand pretty comfortably. So it's very easy to squirrel away when you're in entertainment center. It's HD at 720 even though it doesn't matter with these type of graphics. The only thing that looks like 720 is the background here. But it's weird. It's one of those things where I was <clears throat> getting it out and showing my kids, and it's like, oh, we won't play this. And I'm like, why? Because they're old games. It's like, yeah, but you probably still have fun. So... We'll see if I can get them to participate in any of these games. Oh, man. That's okay. That's okay. It's Zangief. Always liked him, too. So you can save your progress, which, uh, I mean, I don't think I care too much about. Maybe on a game like Mega Man or something when you start beating people. But a game like this, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's try out something else, shall we? So you can insert more coins. That's that's neat. I like that. Considering that when I first was starting this Good Games for Bad Games uh, show idea, my first thing I wanted to uh, name it was Quarter Eaters because I wanted to focus on my arcade games of yesteryear. But, oh, I started the game again. I had a hard time finding... Uh, some of the ones that I wanted to uh, cover in legal ways. So I went with this. Okay, we're back at the feature game section. Okay, A to Z. Let's try Secret Agent Sly Spy. Sly Spy. 
which for some reason reminds me maybe of Rolling Thunder. So we got Jump and Shoot. Okay, let's check it out. I loved Rolling Thunder. Played that so much back in the day. Data East. Whew, that's a blast from the past there. What is going on here? Is this just the demo? There we go. So for world domination terrorists have infiltrated the city. Get them before they kill innocent people. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Very James Bond uh, setup here. Jumping out of a plane and fighting fools. But... They're coming at you kind of blind here. There we go. <clears throat> Golden gun, eh? <clears throat> nope, this is... <clears throat> excuse me, nothing like um, Rolling Thunder. The setup's a little bit like... What the heck? Yeah, let's slap another credit in there. Now this is a game that would make you uh, dump quarters left and right. What the heck? Are you happy there, Honest Eve? Saved you. Oh, neat. Mega Force, the game. Well, you can dodge. That's good. And Daddy signs in the background. <laughs> okay. <laughs> might need to be uh, looked at another day. That's pretty fun. Hard as heck, but fun. Quick game. Back to menu. Let's go back here. Um, bad dudes have to. Let's see if it says it. Are you bad enough, dude, to rescue Ronnie? Nah, not really. Oh man, that sound. Oh god. about this game, Karnoff, in it. I loved that Nintendo game. There we go, and nunchucks. Any game with nunchucks I was all about. I got nunchucks. Nunchucks are better. There he is, Karnoff. Yeah. Uh. 
Eat that. I'm bad. Heck yeah. Go to the next stage. I will. Ooh. And I can honestly say I never got past this section as a kid. Come on in there, Optimus. I'm bad, don't mess with me. One of the best things in the movie Parenthood with Steve Martin. When they're playing this and the kid gets upset that he loses. It's, they're bad dudes. It's called bad dudes. Now, I have this for my Nintendo. I'm a very small Nintendo library. But I have this. No! <laughs> ah, Porsche 911. Well, we will end that one there and see what else we have real quick. I'm sure this is running pretty long in the tooth. So we'll pick one or two more and go from there. So far, for the price I paid, not too bad. Oh, I did it again. But, like I said, you can buy a brand new one at Walmart right now that has the Super Star Wars games on it that were on the Super Nintendo. And that's $40, which still isn't a bad price for getting that many games, and especially the old Super, or, uh, Super Nintendo Star Wars games. I'm curious. Let's try Judge Dredd here. Fire weapon, jump. After collecting any grab belt, plus beat a fly, cycle ammo forwards, punch, kick, headbutt, arrest. See, this is built for Genesis because you use all six buttons here. So Y is arrest. X is punch, kick, headbutt. Just check it out. Will I remember any of that? Mm, probably not. Look. Going off the screen here, but Sega 1995 Acclaim. That's a name you don't see anymore. Never heard of that company. Mega City One. In the third millennium, the world changed. Climate and nations were all in upheaval. Humanity itself turned as violent as the planet. Civilization threatened to collapse, and then a solution was found. The crumbling legal system was merged with the overburdened police, creating a powerful and efficient hybrid. These new guardians of society had the power to dispense both justice and punishment. They were judge, jury, and executioner all in one. They were the judges. Judge Dredd. Let's see if it's uh, Stallone. Hey, oh, hey. I'm uh, Judge Dredd. Hey, oh. And Rob Schneider. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need story. I just want to shoot fools. Heavenly Haven. Judge Dredd, there is a block war in progress at Heavenly, ha Heavenly Haven Tower. Judge Hersey, Hershey has requested assistance. Therefore, the primary objective will be to locate and destroy all ammunition supplies found in the area to prevent further wars. Your secondary objective is to stop the block war, arrest, or sentence all perps involved. That is all. Good luck. Well, so far it's generic enough that it can be the comic. Here we go. And crawl. Oh, you jerk. Try arresting somebody. Oh. The hidden here. Down again. Oh. Ooh. See, but it doesn't uh, 
spell out that you can do that. Thing with these old games. Whoa. Trying to arrest him. Come on, let me. Kicked him into the fire. Is there anything here? One of these things, like I said, these games back in the day, you didn't know what the heck was going on half the time. Whoa, what the? Can't blow up the computer. Can't punch it. Can't shoot it. Oh, there we go. Decided to hold up. <laughs> zero, zero, zero percent complete. Okay. Someone to shoot. Give me that chicken. Does this do anything? Nope. Same old, same old. Get out of here. Shoot this thing to open the door. These things. What do we do here? Come back down here. What do, what do we do? Got a closed door. No one to shoot. Oh, there we go. Guess I just had to shoot it. straight through them. That's not a very good weapon. Guess I'll go in here. Flips up. Whoa, what is that? How do I get that stuff?
I'm so confused. Oh well. Let's quit this one and pick one more to try. But so far, I say it's worth the money. Like I said, especially if you can find it on clearance like I or Santa did. And the new one with the Star Wars games, I would love to try that out. Strider. Have to. I got a Genesis collection. I played a couple games on it. Last Good Games episode, and I was disappointed it didn't have Strider. So, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to get this. Oh yeah, Blast from the Past. Still great graphics. Another game I was horrible at, but I loved playing it nonetheless. This is just such a cool character. The fact that you can climb stuff and the cool robotic beasts that you end up fighting. Very cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Note to self, don't fall in that hole. It was games like this that I loved the Genesis. I said before, I, you know, hindsight 2020, I probably should have stuck with you son of a gun. Bad gamer. I should have stuck with the Super Nintendo, which I ended up getting later um, used and loving it. But these type of games, I did it again. <laughs> We're going to try that again. Insert coin. Yes, please. One credit. Start. <clears throat> but these games like this for the Genesis were just so edgy and awesome. And they did what Nintendo don't. Yeah, I remember this. Remind me of those little robots that came out back in the day. Oh, a ball sorry. Whoa, yo. Yeah. That you uh, pump air into and the legs would jump around. Okay, you schooled me really quick. Oh, man. Dude blew up. Fire from him blowing up. <laughs> Again? Come on. <laughs> okay. We're done there. Like I said, we we're playing good games and I'm just a horrible bad gamer. Let me go back to the menu screen. Nah, we'll count down here. <laughs> Leave it at this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them, and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the videos that it's recommending down below, subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified whenever there's a new episode. Anyway, until next time, keep being rad and stay dorky.